Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, I'm going to share steps to troubleshoot latency in transaction replication, which is often considered complicated and involve many steps. I have another session on the same topic, of course, but compared to that session, here I will become more detailed and try to share more troubleshooting techniques so that you can handle more latency scenarios. Before diving into troubleshooting, let's briefly discuss about architecture of transaction replication. The initial stage of transaction replication, as you might know, is generally generating a snapshot by the snapshot agent and storing it in the snapshot folder. Then the distribution agent transfers the snapshot to the subscriber. Then incremental changes in the published database are tracked and replicated to subscriber database. This replication process is done in three phases. Transactions are marked first for replication transaction log. Then, in the second phase, the log reader agents read the thread, scans through the transaction log using spREPL command stored procedure, and looks for transactions that are marked for replication. After finding those records, read the thread saves it in the queue. Then the log reader agents write the threads, goes to the queue, and writes this transaction to the distribution database using spMS add REPL commands. When writing finishes, confirmation is sent back to publisher with spREPL done sort procedure and the replicated transactions are marked as replicated in transaction log. Okay? Here log reader agents work finishes. After replicated data comes to distribution database, distribution agent reader thread uses msgetREPL command sort procedure and scans new commands to be replicated. Then the replicated data is put to queue and distribution agents write a thread goes to queue and brings the database to subscription database. Okay. In short, you should understand what our participants are here for example, and what they are doing. For example, there is a log, log reader and distribution agent, right? Then re reader and a writer threads for each agent are there. Okay. That's all. The latency might happen with any of the threads and agents. Following our troubleshooting steps I'm going to share. Overall, there are four steps. As you can see, I'm dividing steps three and four into subsections because you might need only one of these steps to check based on the previous step finding. For example, if you find latency in distribution agent in step two, you will check only step 3.2. And if you find issue with read the thread only in this step, you will go directly to step 4.3. You don't need to go to other steps. Let's go through these steps. Before you dive into solving any issue, you need to fully understand the type of environment you have as there might have been changes you are unaware of, right? The most obvious way to do is to run the script by Microsoft that is publicly available in GitHub. Let me show you how to run this script. When you go to the GitHub link, you will find this topology script. If you run this script in SSMS, you will get your topology information, including distribution database, server, publications, and subscriptions. If everything is as expected, go to the next second step. The second step is about to confirm how much latency we are having and where we are stuck. For this, we use tracer tokens. You should go to the replication monitor and select your publication. Then just click insert tokens. As you can see, the latency between publisher to distributor is around one second and it's the same for from distributor to subscriber. Okay, not bad, right? If you face latency here, there will be like two minutes, uh, two minutes, one hour or something like that you observe. Okay, we don't have latency here. If you observe latency in publisher to distributor, which you should check log reader agent, which is step 3.1. If you spot latency in distributor to subscriber, you should check distribution agent, which is step 3.2. But if you observe latency everywhere, starting from publisher to subscriber, okay, you should check both 3.1 and step 3.2. Let's assume you face latency in publisher to distributor. In this case, you should investigate a log reader agent in step 3.1. This step has two sub steps. Firstly, we check log reader agent's history for any errors on latency statistics. Okay. Secondly, we enable verbose logging for detailed logs and check more deeply. To check log reader agent's history, you can run this query in distribution database. As you can see, this query firstly gives log reader agent's name and the status. 
there is a session duration and start time and the time when the message was logged. If you face any error, you can confirm the error content here. Furthermore, you can also confirm error code and error text. Also, there is statistics information which is logged in every five minutes in comment section, comment column. What does this message include? If state state one, both reader and writer thread of log reader agent are performing as expected. If state uh, equal to two, for example, right? Writer thread is taking a long time to write changes to distribution database. In this case, you should investigate writer thread. Okay, uh, you should you should you should go to step four point two. In other words, state three, for example, if you face state three means that reader thread is taking a long time scanning the replicated changes from the transaction log and this thread should be investigated. And you should go to step 4.1 in this case. For example, here, the writer thread, here in, in the example, writer thread is causing latency as reader thread waited for it for 300 seconds to free queue buffer for any replicated data, okay? So this is a very short introduction about this, but there is very much detailed documentation about, about these statistics. Please go through this documentation and familiarize yourself. I am just sharing it in the description. So these statistics help to clarify the level of latency and where we are stuck, right? We are stuck reader thread or we are stuck in the writer thread. So if we go to the the, the logs, you can find the last uh, process transaction number, average comments per second information, and other useful information which you can utilize while troubleshooting any latency issues. So many issues are resolved by using history, his, uh, history logs, okay? Uh, we, can, we can know which thread is causing the issue. But sometimes uh, it is sometimes that it is, it becomes difficult. Not not all, uh, not all the cases that history logs are enough. In these cases, uh, we should enable verbose logs. Verbose logs is very much detailed logs. For this, you you go to job activity monitor and find log reader agent. Open the properties and select the second step and paste following to the job comment. Okay, this is a command you should paste. After pasting, you should restart and go to the log generation location. As you can see, you can find this log file. In this file, you can find agent properties and further detailed logs. As you can see, log reader agent's reader thread is making SPREPL comments request with 500 batches, but there is not any data to be replicated. Therefore, we are making the same request and again. Most important point in verbal logs are the agent statistics. These statistics are recorded every five minutes. Fetch time is reading time, which is reader thread performance. Write time is writer thread performance. As you can see, this is the overall time where our agent is up. From this time, our agent spends this work time for replicating the data. Overall, during this time, we were able to replicate this number of comments. Fetch time is 1393 and write time is also nearly the same. This means that writer thread and reader thread is spending nearly the same time for replicating comments and uh, there shouldn't be any latency issue here. Okay, so let's talk about a problematic case. We were able to replicate only the same number of comments here in this case. In the first scenario, you can see that uh, replicate comments we spend only this time. This means our replication is slow right, in the second scenario, because it's, we are spending a lot of time in the second scenario to replicate the same number of comments. Where we are stuck? While writing or reading, we should check fetch time and write time. 
as you can see fetch time is very huge compared to write time this means we are facing latency while reading the logs in the publisher we should check reader thread in this case okay in this way we can check agent statistics and find where is a problem while writing or reading if you cannot find any error in verbose logs and the log history but find latency in reader or writer thread move to next steps and check related threads so let's also discuss a case when you have latency in distribution agent the sub steps in this step is also nearly the same but comments to run and the statistics output are different firstly run this command to check distribution agent you can find the same column names agent name set, uh, status of the agent and the time when the message was logged then there is a comment section where main issue comments are recorded as you can see statistics information which we already discussed is recorded with distribution agent also okay therefore i will not repeat how to analyze these logs you can also confirm current delivery rate and latencies the number of delivered comments if any error happened the error is recorded here so many issues are resolved by using these history logs you can identify who is culprit here who is um, causing the issue read a thread or write a thread by using history logs but there are cases where more detailed logs are needed in this case you should enable verbose logs for this go to job activity monitor and find distribution agent open the properties and select the second step and paste following to the job command this is a command you should paste after pasting you should restart and go to the log generation location as you can see you can find this log file you can investigate the verbers detailed logs for any errors furthermore verbers logging provides distribution agent statistics as below you can check time to apply CMDs for writer's thread performance and time to retrieve CMDs to check reader's thread performance. As you can see, reader and writer's thread performance are nearly the same. If there is a huge difference, you should check corresponding thread in the next steps.